Good morning, Erie. It's Wednesday morning, and Tom is ready you to eat. You look so hungry. You still, <laughs> you still look hungry, Jocelyn. Here you go. Thank okay, you. Yeah. <laughs> Today is National Snack Sticks Day, and we have on our Facebook page right now. Yes. What is your favorite snack sticks? Yeah. You know, is it like a cheese stick? A cheese stick. Okay, beef pretzel jerky? stick. Uh, beef jerky, you would like perhaps. To know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lou from Enormous uh, that you just saw uh, gave us uh, many, including. Uh, the uh, oh barbecued beef stick. Ooh. Like the oh yes. Please. Okay, yes, yeah, she definitely yeah. does. I love barbecue. Okay, barbecue's so good. good. Yeah. So uh, go on the Facebook page. Let us know your favorite snack sticks. Yes, Tom. Like to know. Yeah, Tom ate all the cheese sticks, so yeah. I'm Italian, you know, mozzarella. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a sucker for mozzarella. What can I say? <laughs> oh. They are reduced fat, so Lou is. Oh, you know, okay. He's concerned That's for your good. Health. Concerned for your help. Thank you, Lou. We appreciate it. Thank you. That. Appreciate it. Pretty good electronics, too, from what I hear. <laughs> a Mill Creek teenager accused of shooting his former friend is back in the Erie County Prison after violating the conditions of his bond. His violation was contacting the victim on Snapchat. Samir Nefsi has more. Assistant District Attorney Hillary Hoffman motioning to revoke Isaac Bruno's bond following evidence he violated a condition of his bond. Bruno sent a Snapchat message to the alleged 16-year-old victim on September 9th. Hey man, just want to express some remorse to you. If you don't want me to text you, I understand and will respect that. I really am sorry for you and your family, man. This causing Judge David Ridge to reimpose Bruno's initial bond of $75,000. This coming months after 17-year-old Bruno was accused of shooting his then-friend in the 8400 block of Westlake Road in January of this year. Judge Ridge expressing that he understands the Snapchat message itself was not threatening. However, the conditions of Bruno's bail state that he must have no contact with the victim or his immediate family. Bruno's lawyer, Philip Friedman, telling the courts he shouldn't have done it. Further explaining, Bruno was attempting to apologize for the incident, adding Bruno has followed the rest of the bond conditions. This marks the third hearing related to bond conditions for this case. Judge Ridge saying, I did the right thing at the time by allowing Bruno out on 10% of $75,000 bond. Attorney Friedman saying Bruno did not realize he couldn't send the message to which Ridge stated, I don't find it to be credible. Samir Nafsi, Jet 24 Action News. Bruno's lawyer also motioned to delay Bruno's return to the prison, citing COVID 19 concerns. Rich denied the motion. After much discussion, the district attorney's office will not seek the death penalty against a man accused of killing two people. D district attorney Jack Denary saying Cody. Potoff's charges would allow his office to pursue the death penalty. This comes after the 25-year-old allegedly went on a two-day crime spree in June of this year. Denary explaining his office discussed the pros and cons of the death penalty and as it relates to the case, adding they've come to the conclusion that the case did not warrant the death penalty. Getting the death penalty is is no uh, victory or uh, anything that the victim's families, um, I guess, can um, take solace in because they don't actually get that result. The DA's office has been in contact and discussed the matter with the victim's families. Paroff is set to stand trial on March 18th. The district attorney's office has motioned for an appeal to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court to rule if Christopher LeClaire should pay the Coast Guard restitution. Assistant District Attorney Elizabeth Herz filed the motion asking the Supreme Court to revisit the case. In 2017, LeClaire reported his wife, Karen LeClaire, fell overboard, causing the Coast Guard to search for her, when in reality, LeClaire murdered her. The search Coast, cost the Coast Guard around $425,000. The eight panel of judges already ruled in the case that LeClaire did not have to pay because the Coast Guard, as a federal agency, does not meet the definition of a victim.
Dakota Robinson has pled guilty after allegedly uploading hundreds of images of child pornography. Those charges were brought against the 20 year old of Erie. Robinson pled guilty to 10 counts of child pornography. He could face $165,000 in fines and up to 77 years in prison. His sentencing will, will take place in front of Judge Jamie Mead on November 10th. A trip to Cory in October can mean a trip into Erie County's past as an auction is planned for the Hagen History Center. The center is hoping to remove about 16, 600 items from the center's 14,000 item collection. Those items will be sold at auction on October 15 at the Plows Auction House in Cory. Staff members have spent three years identifying less relevant, broken, or redundant pieces. The proceeds will go towards the care of the remaining items. A local pastor plans to bring police and the community together, starting with the youngest members. Pastor Lamont Higamottom says the pizza party in the parking lot with cops and kids is part of a program they are calling the Race Project. Race standing for raising awareness about color and equality. He says he wants the children in the community to get to know City of Erie police and not to be fearful of them. They fear the uniform because they don't know the person behind the uniform. Likewise, we want our officers to know our kids. We want them to know them by name so that they know they, they can start to build a relationship with our children in this community. The pizza party with cops will take place Saturday from noon to 3 p.m. in the Second Baptist Church parking lot on East 26th Street. Now, time now is 6.38. We're, we're heading back to enormous mobile specialties to talk tech this morning. Good morning, Lou. Good morning, Jocelyn. Can someone tell you that they can automatically void the warranty on your vehicle? We're going to talk about that coming up. From your news lead, you're watching David Belmondo, meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, and Jane Pushkar with sports. This is Jet 24, Good Morning Erie. 